Hello and welcome back. Today, let's download and install Krita's new version together. Let's get started. Click on the blue button. The .exe file will start downloading right away and show at the very bottom of your screen. Now, do not worry about the screen changing. This is Krita welcoming you to the family and wishing you to have fun painting. When the download is done, click on it. Your monitor will suddenly exit everything to only show you this message. Click Yes. This little panel will appear on your desktop next. This shows you the progress of the installation. So be patient, it should only take a few seconds. If you want to use the English language, click OK. Otherwise, use the drop-down menu to choose another language. Click Next. Click I accept the terms of the license agreement. Of course, you are more than welcome to read the license if you want, but frankly, nobody does. Click Next to continue. If you want to place the installation in another location on your computer, click Browse, otherwise click Next. Click Next again, and this time click Agree. Click Next. Make sure that the Create a Desktop icon has been checked. Finally, click Install. So the installation is taking place. As you can see, it goes very fast. There is a notification right here telling us that the installation has been completed. We can now click on the next button and click on finish. Now to find your application there are many ways but you can also look for it by using the search engine. Just start typing Krita. Here it is, just click once and it will open. Now that you have opened Krita, a little icon has appeared in the taskbar. If you want, you can make sure that it always stays here. To do this, it's very simple. Right-click on the icon and select a Pin to Taskbar. This will keep the icon displayed in the taskbar even when the application is closed. From now on, you just need to click on it to open the application. And we are done for today. This was very quick and simple. Next time, we'll examine in details the Create a New Document dialog box. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, au revoir et à bientôt.